Good shot. Came down to Whitby. He marched towards Safaz on that occasion. Broke the shackles and ripped that away for four runs. Well, sign of pressure showing there. He had to do something. He made the advance towards the bowler. Well, he's certainly taking the initiative. One, two, three steps down the wicket. And Imran chasing rather slowly down there. He's had trouble with his legs. He's not all that mobile. He's been pushed down to deep, fine leg. But the point to make about that is that whilst we're seeing some pretty good footwork there, from the batsmen, we're not seeing any very good footwork from Imran. And this outfield is very slow. That ball could have easily pulled up inside the boundary. There he goes again. Again, not getting hold of it. This time, Haynes taking the example from his partner from the previous delivery. And the batsman will again get three runs. Well, that's a glorious shot. That's four runs. No need to move. Even applause there from his partner, Gordon Greenwich. That's the best shot we've seen for the morning. Extra cover drive. Perfectly played by Haynes. It's a great shot in the old cover drive. There's none better than it. And its way through those cover fieldsmen there. And it's not a really fast outfield at the MCG, but had no problems whatsoever in reaching the down. And that's the West Indies 50. In fact, they'll now go on to 51 with two runs as Ijaz Faki, who is out there, the 12th man. There he is. So that's 51 between Greenwich and Haynes, and they've now started really to find their touch. The runs are now coming a lot more freely than they were earlier. And that's through. Well timed. More runs here. Long chase for Rizwan. The batsman coming back quite comfortably for their third run. Good long return from Rizwan. But it was always three. Kane's really going for his drives now. Took almost half an hour to get off the mark, Haynes. Didn't score his first run until the fourth over. Now he's really going. He's catching up with Gordon Greenwich. 27 to Haynes and 28 to Greenwich. That's a good firm on drive by Haynes. And a bad bit of fumbling down there. At uh, long on, Rizwan, the fielder, goes for four. Really should have been just the single. Not getting behind it. Let's see what he does this time. That's better. It's a bit of a, a rubbish from the crowd. A neat strike. Desmond Haynes goes to 50 with that delicate little strike. Just through the vacant slip area. Been a good innings from Desmond Haynes. Fifty came up in 65 deliveries faced and 96 minutes. Have a look at that little nudge, just opening the face there and just getting enough on it to beat the rear keeper. So, a well played 50 by Haynes. Majid Khan. And there's a beautiful, beautifully struck ball and not a very good piece of fielding out there at uh, deep mid wicket. Pakistan fielding isn't working very well. Here today they're under tremendous pressure. Mansur Akhtar out there at uh, deep mid wicket. Desmond Haynes, another four, goes to 58. And so I suppose when looking at this, that's a marvellous shot. Played away there, that sweep shot off the middle of the bat for four, like a tracer bullet to the boundary. That's Desmond Haynes. So when one considers uh, that aspect of the game, the big ground and uh, that's a vitally important aspect of the game and there's another example of it that time Desmond Haynes just leaning back rather than try to smash it to the boundary for four he's placed it to perfection in the result think of all the wealth of batting still to come in the West Indian lineup. 
And they're finding the gaps and running well between the wickets. The scoring rate's been fantastic in the first hour. They scored 62 in the second hour, 103 runs without loss. It's in the air and it's high. One bounce over the fence, four more. And it's a very controlled hitting situation by these two batsmen, Frank. They're really finding those gaps. They certainly are, and Irving Rosenwater was just pointing out to me a moment ago that that would probably constitute about the 11th four of the innings. The two batsmen have not really tried to hit their way to the boundary, but have been content to place the ball. That's the end of him. The breakthrough. Trying to force it down the gap. It's one for 182. Payne's backing away as he's done so often. Look at that. He's outside his leg stump. His leg stump is tilted back. All coming into it. So the first success then to the Pakistan bowlers with 182 runs on the ball.